<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode, and possibly the last episode of Let's Play Destroy All Humans. Yes, that's right, we've pretty much reached the end of the game. Ah, oh, we've come so far, so many humans destroyed, but yeah, two missions left, and that's pretty much it. I've decided I might not show the rest of the challenges, I mean, let's be honest, they're pretty repetitive, and I've showed enough on this Let's Play already. Uh, it just depends on if there's any more extras, I know that the original game had loads of extras when you completed it, so if this does, then there might be a couple more episodes, maybe, but um, for now, this is going to be it, so let's get started with the first mission, Shocking Developments. Humans have mass-produced a weapon that threatens our main invasion force! These Tesla coils are cheap, shoddy versions of the ones you met in Area 42. And you, my impulsive friend, are to destroy every Tesla coil unit in town. Interesting. Some are automated, but others require human operators. So what do I do with those? Simple. Each unit must be connected to a nearby control console. Destroy them all! I don't care how. So I'm taking out the Tesla coils and the control consoles? Once again, Crypto, you have crystallized the thrust of my gist entirely. Destroy those Tesla coils on foot! Otherwise, they'll disrupt your saucer! Electric defenses! You're blocking my all right, I think I get it, Box. I think I get it. You can you can shut up now. All right, so we need to destroy loads of these uh, Tesla coils. There they are, all over Capital City, littered about, like on top of here. The good bait. But yeah, we are we are reaching the end. Um, I don't think they added any more sort of like secret missions in between the regular ones. So um, it's going to be this, and then it's going to be the the big old boss battle at the end. Whoa! Holy moly! Uh, I've got to be honest, I've been pretty sloppy with recording this <laughs> towards the end of the game uh, and I haven't really played much since then either, so um, I'm going to be very rusty, but holy moly, look at those robots over there. What's going on? I need to get back into the controls. Just get rid of everything there. Wow, that was a nice bit of slowdown. Oh no, wait, we have the time thing, don't we? See, I've completely forgot, we have the, the slowdown time on the... Um, on the ion detonator here. How did you even get up here? Whoa! So what, I'm gonna. Well, you died before then, anyway. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, this is um, this is gonna be it. And I gotta admit, we are pretty beefed up. Like I just double checked before starting to record, and uh, we have got every single upgrade possible in the game. So um, I'm hoping the the final boss battle won't be too tricky. That being said, I think I was uh, fully upgraded in the original game, and they still made it pretty challenging. Uh, oh, there's Finkelsteins. Yeah, they still made it pretty tricky, so I'm guessing, you know, they would have changed the boss battle at least somewhat. Let's do it from over here. Can we do that? Oh, we can. Look at that shot. Perfect. Yeah, they definitely would have upgraded, you know, like the move set and, and, I don't know, extra rounds of the boss battles, so... We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping it's not too difficult, but uh, we shall see. What luck! These must be the weapons inventors. Kill those scientists! Without them, those coils can't be rebuilt. Bye. <laughs> oh, hang on, we've got electrocute scientists with Tesla coils. It's the bonus objective. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's get rid of these guys. Right, where are these scientists? Oh, no, I blew up the Tesla coil. Oh, no. Was I meant to use it here? I think I was. Oh, crap. I need to find more scientists. There's one. Get back here. You're coming with me. 
Let's see if I can still do this. Oh no, I just dropped him! No! <laughs> I just dropped him! You're a scientist, they all do. Don't drop scientists, folks. Okay, you're gonna... Yes, that worked. That worked like a charm. I need to find some more. You're a scientist. Oh, is he dead? Oh no! I keep... <laughs> They keep destroying the Tesla cores themselves. What a bunch of silly bints. Before I even get the chance to use scientists on them. Uh, okay, hang on. I've got two left. I can't mess this up. There's one over there. Uh, where are the, where's the scientist? There's a scientist. There's another one. And you. Nope, that didn't count for some reason. Okay, never mind. Ooh, there's a lot of guys there. There's a lot of guys there and a big robo guy. Whoa. Good aim. <laughs> They're just going to do my job for me, aren't they, really? Oh, crap. Go down there. Nice, okay. Uh, I need one more scientist. Oh, there's one. Oh, no, not that. Oh, they just blew this one up. Oh, dear. Hopefully I can get one last guy. Oh, there. I do like the optional objectives. They do make it slightly more interesting. There we go. Well, that is just not blowing up. Oh, it's this. I need to blow up. Never mind. Oh, really? That's no problem for us. Oops. Green men. Tesla coils. Destroy these primitive human defenses, Crypto. Too bad these Tesla coils are only cheap imitations. Your saucer should be able to hold out against them. Yeah, I think we have no problem at all. Like, just easy peasy lemon squeezy. Kill the Tesla coil inventors. Where are they? Oh, are they in? Are they the white the white things on the mini map? They sure are. I'm sorry. You gotta go. You're like Frankenstein. And I gotta destroy your monsters. Good work, Crypto. There's that one having a nice time next to the Washington Memorial. No longer. There we go, mission successful. I, the, the, the pacing of this game is so strange though, isn't it? Like this is the second to last mission. That was it, that was the penultimate mission right there. And it was just, it was just nothing. Like there's really not much to it at all. Uh, but we did it, 100 percented nice. Electrifying, says the Capital Post. Explosions destroy new power substations. Those pesky explosions. Rolling blackouts expected. City struggles to cope. Mm. But at least you have stop slip for your carpets. Right, well, no upgrades are needed because we are fully maxed out. So uh, thanks, but no thanks, Pox. Let's get on to... Is it indeed? Ah, oh, there it is. New mission. Last mission. Attack of the 50-foot president. Oh, I hope this goes well. Here you stand! 
stand at the seat of all human power, and they're turning over the keys to the whole planet. Our victory is complete. No more blowing stuff up. Oh, the Furon Emperor will be most pleased. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to believe. Silhouette will be meeting you there himself. Try not to glow too much when you accept his surrender. Sure, it's the least we can do. World domination awaits! Indeed it does, Poxy. Wow. We've finally made it. We have destroyed... Well, we haven't destroyed all humans, but we've destroyed enough humans for them to surrender. Now it's going to be just as simple as walking to the capital and taking the reins. Overthrowing it, if you will. Silhouette, I presume. You don't look like a general. You don't look like a little green man. Thank you. So, waving the white flag, huh? All the monkeys got together, scratched their heads, accepted the inevitable. That sense of humor. Just like your... Like my what? Uh, file. Your dossier, Crypto, said you were quite the Joker. I think I never told you my name. No, I suppose I have your brother to thank for that. Chick? I'm a patriot. If you had to put up with politicians playing grab ass all day long, you'd wear a mask too. Me, I get my kicks the old fashioned way, beating up bad monkeys. Funny, that's just what Crypto 136 said. Of course, he was a real cut up too. Well, so much for plan A. What's that? That, my gender-deprived friend, is plan B. The end of your insidious invasion. A champion even you can't defeat. The greatest political mind of the 20th century in the greatest weapon ever built by man. Behold! The robo -prez. If elected, I promise to destroy all furons! That is seriously messed up. Robo-Prez, dirty tricks mode! Aw oh, man, now I'm gonna get my suit dirty. Oh, I love the sound of all the birds tweeting as Robo Prez comes behind us and tries to destroy us. Oh my. Look at Robo Prez now. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm just taking this in. So I haven't seen, you know, all this new stuff. This is my first time experiencing it. I did just go watch, uh, before recording, I watched my original video with this final mission and, um,. Yeah, I gotta say they really they they upped the drama of the reveal of Silhouette as a woman, which I quite liked. Although I'm not I'm not in love with her new look they gave her. I think it's a bit strange. Um, but I guess it kind of ooh all fits in with the the new sort of cartoony style they're going with. Where do you but Robo Prez looks amazing. Looks like a a giant evil version of um. Atlas and Peabody from uh, Portal, <laughs> Portal 2. Okay, anyway, I, I need to stop dilly-dallying. We need to get in our saucer before the whole world is just covered in this nasty flame stuff.
All right, so we need to destroy Robo Prez. This is only the first part of the boss battle as well. Uh, with an optional objective of hitting the weak spot on Robo Prez's chest. Um, how do I do the? How do I do the? Oh, that's that one. Okay, good. Like that. And that sends it back to him, doesn't it? Oh, that's one of the upgrades. Oh, that is so good. Look at that. We can just send his own rockets back to him. What an idiot. Oh, I mistimed that, though. Oh, well. Oh, but that, that counts as the uh, optional objective as well. Oh, neat. Okay. How are we going to do this? I have no clue. I've not practiced this. I do not know what I'm doing. But I am going to listen to past me's advice and see if there's any Tesla coils to take out. In the original, there was loads of stuff firing at you, as well as Robopres. Um, you know, there was SAM sites, there was Tesla coils, tanks. Actually, to be honest, they made it quite a... Uh... Oh. They made it quite uh, serene. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> I spoke too soon. There are a few things shooting at me, but not, not too much. Look how much damage we've done just with his own rockets sending back to him. That is a great upgrade to get. I think we're finally going to see the usefulness of all of the uh, saucer upgrades, which we haven't really used much of before now. But I've just had to do nothing apart from <laughs> repel. But no, let's let's use some let's use some uh, weapons, shall we? Oh yeah, quantum deconstruct that. Oh, and the White House in the background. Oh, the Capitol. Sorry. Whoops. I'm assuming the um, the electricity, you know, the thunderbolts are going to be for every time he runs away. I remember he run he ran away in the original, so okay. I need to uh, I need to get some health actually. I need to focus on my health. Crypto, oh. You don't have oh dear. Let's try and send those back. At the same time, trying to find some health. There's nothing I can... There's nothing I can drain. What can I drain? Ah! I might actually die here. Oh, there's a car. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh I, can, I can drain people as well, can't I? I forgot about that. Okay, that's pretty good. Whoa, that rocket just went all around me. He just doesn't stop with these rockets, does he? Give me a break, will ya? Oh, we're, all, oh, we're out. Hang on, we're out. Oh, he's descended of the balloons. Holy moly. Is that if you get too close? Gives you a little old taste of his own death ray. Alright, there's stage one gone. And there he goes. Robo Prez! He's heading for that white building! No, the other white building! You know, the one with the statue, the tall, ugly guy with the beard, he's like Amish or something. <laughs> Don't you dare disrespect Abe Lincoln like that, Pox. But yeah, this is if Boston Dynamics gets any more uh, advanced, this is a taste of the future. This is what's to come, folks. <laughs> we better be careful. They're funny now, you know, dancing robots or whatever. Not so funny in the future. Or the past, if we're thinking about this, actually. Anyway, um, I saw some stuff spawn in, like the balloons. And is there any Tesla coils and stuff now? Doesn't seem like it, actually. It seems still pretty chill, which I'm, which I'm liking. Let's uh, do some more draining. I wonder if if I do that all the way back here, does it go all the way back to him? I'm assuming it does. Yeah, it does. Wow, that's great. Just do that constantly. Uh, what else can we use? Sonic booms, maybe? Spam a few of these. 
I do a little bit of damage, not too much though. <laughs> this is so silly, look. I'm <laughs> just standing right in front of him. Okay. What do we have next? More. Uh, nope. Let's try Death Ray again. Wow, he's got. Oh, he's got like a extra wide beam now. Holy moly, okay. Time to drain, time to drain. Let's go back to our favourite draining spot. Oh, hang on, he's dead. Whoops, I missed that. I think that was his own rockets who just, uh, just finished off that round. Okay, where is he now? Is he going to move? Robo prayers! Robo prayers! Looks like he's heading for the Coolidge Memorial! Or is that the Rutherford B. Hayes monument? Oh, I should have held on to that tourist map. <laughs> I would actually really like to go to Washington one day. Washington, D.C. I think it'd be a really interesting trip. Anyway, maybe not when there's a giant Robo prayers destroying everything. And an alien. That would be pretty bad. Oh my goodness, there's so many weather balloons. I'm taking so much damage from them. Ah! Drain. 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 Drain and repel at the same time, which is kind of awkward because it's two buttons I'm using on the controller. Oh, look at this. Look at me go, though. Oh, mistimed. Never mind. What else can I drain? You. Whoa. Okay. Have I got any more Quantum Deconstructor? I have. Get that out of the way. Grab all that ammo right next to him. Sonic Boom, you. Is it my Sonic Boom that's doing that? That's sending all of his projectiles back to him? Because if so, that's pretty neat. Oh, what's he going to do? He's got his beam. Oh, 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 time to drain. Oh, wow, that beam goes very far. Drain, 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 drain. Running away a little bit. Bye, Robo Prez. Get away. I just need some more vehicles. Aha. Right back at you. Wow, this is actually a really useful upgrade to have for this battle. And I think he's done. Bye bye, Robo Prez. Man, I love the smell of presidential brains in the morning. Just remember who set that giant potus of destruction upon you. Uh, right. You know who I mean. Oh, that silhouette guy, right? Uh, or chick. Could you do me a favor and not creep me out? Sure. In any case, he, I mean, she ran from the capital. I lost sight of him. Her. Silhouette. Near the... Attention, furons. Attention, furons. Is this thing on? Oh, whatever. I know you little grey freaks can hear this. I'm sure you're out there listening. Gloating. Pretty much, yeah. It seems only fair. Credit where credit is due. You did it. You beat my beautiful robo -prez. And now you're probably sitting around fantasizing about destroying all the humans. Typical. Sure you handled the boys, Armquist Hoffman. Oh, that was a challenge. <laughs> but everybody knows which sex is dominant on this planet. There's still plenty of time to get your asses handed to you. That is, if you're not too scared to fight a girl. No, no I'm not hung up on the whole Pudenda thing. So come on, Crypto. Let's dance. I'll even let you lead. I'm at the Octagon. Don't keep me waiting. 
Man, that silhouette, she is a proper femme fatale, isn't she? Oh, let the game load in a little bit and grab all this ammo. Oh no, 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 get away from me. I just want to land, let me land. No! <laughs> Oops, there we go. All right, so yeah, that was only a, a little appetizer, that, that Robo-Prez battle. Now we're on to the main course. The big boss battle with Silhouette. I'm I'm a bit worried about how this is gonna go. But let's 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 give it a shot. Oh look, there's people just working here. I have a feeling they're gonna wanna move out the way soon. <laughs> Okay, so, fight Silhouette. Oh wow, she's already on me. Fight Silhouette, oh sorry, kill Silhouette, and then shoot Silhouette out of the air. Oh wow, let's um, let's get rid of everything that's shooting me first. Because this is nasty stuff, wow. That's the wrong way. Just gonna cheat a little bit and hide. Now you're moving in the right direction. I remember um, in the original video, <laughs> um, you don't have authorization to leave. Okay, Return shut up, Pops. The mission area at once. I said that there was a you could maybe do the boss battle by just sort of cheating and shooting her from outside here on the other side of the fence, but it's not you really the best way to go. To what is that? She's sniping me. She got a sniper rifle. Oh, it's a probe up here. What is going on? What is going on? That was really weird. I don't know what's happening. It must be her effects. It's like she's shooting, oh, she's shooting weird little pink things at me. Uh, all right, we need to stop her doing that because that is painful. Please stop that. Oh, and that's that's probably when it means to shoot her out of the air when she's doing that. This is going to be very interesting. Oh, she's still got me somehow. Somehow, some way. Okay, let's hide behind here. Let's get some health back. Okay, ready? And now. Oh, I mistimed it. Completely mistimed it. There we go. Alright, is she down? I'm just gonna keep zapping. Hey, you need to move out of the way, guys. This is like a end game boss battle here. <laughs> you can stop digging. You can stop building. It's fine. Damn it. I don't know how you avoid those. That's kind of crazy. And I don't like that sound effect either. Ah. Can I just fly out? Like, fly away from them? Like, dodge them that way? No. Uh. Interesting. Okay. Um. At least they don't they don't really damage you. They well they take you down to the lowest health, but I don't think they kill you. It seems like. Let's not go near those, they might explode on me. Oh that damages me though. Oh no. Oh dear. Please get some health back, Crypto, please. What is she doing now? Well, what are those? Whoa, my! Oh, they're the safe spots. Oh, there's Robo Prez. Like Robo, that's a really, I really like that. So Robo Prez's beam still sort of charges up, and you have to take cover behind stuff. That's really cool. Uh, okay, I really hope. So one thing that she did in the original, which I hated, was uh, she regened health. When she got to around about half health, she regened. Oh great, these guys are here. Um, so let's see if she does that in this version as well. Oh 
Oh wait, she's got a shield. Never mind. Oh. No, she's got another shield. Oh no, she still takes damage though. Never mind. Oh. Anal pro view. <laughs> That's not doing any damage at all. And this is only phase one of the boss, the boss fight. Yeah, that's really bad. That's that's not good at all. We need more. Um, oh, 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 oh. Get behind some cover. Yeah, we need some more ammo. That's for sure. What can we transmog? I don't, I don't want to. There we go. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to brain extract. I want to transmog. Anything I can transmog? Oh, you. Okay, that's a decent amount of ammo. Right, there we go. There's phase one done, I think. Stop jumping all over the place, will ya? Die. <laughs> oh, she's very athletic, isn't she? <laughs> so athletic. Okay. What's she doing now? She's doing that weird... She's getting her health back. No. They kept it in. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Don't you dare do that. No. Oh, she's getting her health back from that thing. Maybe I should have got rid of those at the beginning. Maybe that's what's giving her those weird pink powers. Okay. That's it, just stand there in one spot. That's really good. That's really useful. Okay, Robo Prayers. Grab the ammo. Oh, there's so much ammo everywhere. Nice. Uh-oh, robot's over there. Oh no, I just died. Oh no. Oh, I wasn't even really paying attention to my health. Circus Midget found slain. I hope it doesn't make me do the robot press fight again. Okay, no, all right. Well, I'm gonna get back to at least the same stage we were at before and uh, I'll cut back. Okay, we're back on stage two. I did that really quickly, actually. I just spammed her uh, before she really had time to uh, regen health, which is how I did it the first time uh, in the original game. So definitely speed is the essence. But I have not yet shot her out the sky, which is uh, a bit annoying. I want to get that optional objective. But I mean, this is just like, look at this. This is, this is the way to do it. Oh, off she jumps again. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Try and shoot her out. Oh, we already did it. Never mind. That was easy. Okay. Get rid of you. Or not, as the case may be.
Okay, I don't want to die again. Let's go and regen some health. Okay, cool. It would be nice to have a little bit more... Oh, all this stuff. Yeah. Oh no, here they come. Get away. No. Oh crap. Robo prayers, robo prayers. Okay, I think we're on to the final... Oh, wait, no. That was only... Yeah, I think we're on to the final stage. Maybe. When she stops jumping about like an idiot. What's she doing? That doesn't even make sense. How are you getting such momentum? Whoa. And then you just jumped across my screen. Uh, okay, she's re... Yep, she's regening. Okay, they need to destroy that thing now. Stop that. Stop using that. Okay, right. No more of you. Okay, yeah, we're on to the last round. Finally, what are those things? What are the Oh my goodness. Holy moly, this is cool. Can I get her away from here? I can't. Oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die again. I'm just think I'm gonna ignore her while she's doing all that. I'd rather just go and collect some ammo. Okay, where is she? Why she created all these weird rings? I guess they're gonna damage me unless I shoot them. Yeah, I gotta shoot them. Okay. Oh no, Robo Prez! Robo Prez! Robo Prez! <laughs> oh, I might die here. Please don't die. Uh oh, I hear uh, mutants behind me as well. Mutant humans. Yep, there they are. Right, you need to stop. Oh my god, there's just so much stuff going on on the screen. Oh. Where is she? I think she's in the sky. I just want some health. Just give me some health for longer than, like, 10 seconds, please. Oh, okay. I'm going to run away again. Grab some ammo. Right, here we are. Let's let's get spamming. Enough of this. I'm bored of you. That's it, just stay right there, don't move. No, don't Oh no, Robo Prez. Hey, okay, I got you now. Oh, thank God for that. You beat.
beat me. I can't believe you actually beat me. They never do. You know, you don't look so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Furon's won. Human Zipperoni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. At least the ones I scanned. Smug little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans. There is Majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. MJ. Twelve. The twelve. All over. All over the world. Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this. All right, we did that. We did that. Uh, we hit the weak spot on Robo Prez's chest and we shot Silhouette out of the air. I've got to be honest, um, didn't really have much clue what was going on for most of that boss battle with Silhouette. <laughs> it was just kind of crazy stuff happening on screen. Um, yeah, it, it, it was okay. I, I liked some of the additions. I like the Robo Prez um, like beam that he fires and you've got to get cover, but the, a lot of the stuff I just had no clue and I was just shooting her and it seemed a little bit messy, but. Maybe I just needed to uh, learn her attack moves a little bit better. But through brute force, we did it. And I'm guessing that's now it. And we're maybe going to get the final cutscene. Let's have a look. <gasps> President Huffman found alive? But we saw him get blasted across the stage. How is that possible? US government fights off commie invaders on home soil. Yes, they sure do. Giant lizard seen off the coast of Japan. Space Fighter X-12 mobilized in response. That's a nice little detail that you're going to, you know, makes more sense when you play the sequel. Oh, well, I mean, it could just mean Godzilla as well, but, you know, you actually have Kojira in, uh, in the sequel. Anyway, that's it. We're done. Let's watch the final cutscene. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. I'm speaking to you tonight to put these rumors to rest. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red, and our invaders are most definitely of this Earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists godless deviants who hate us for our freedom-loving way of life. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. The result was mass hysteria, a national delusion which provided them the cover they needed to execute their fearful scheme. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back, and I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. 
Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Freedom is on the march, my friends. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez Louise, I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt. in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward, remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself. And there you have it, that was Destroy All Humans, the remake by Black Forest Games. Yeah, good ending, I like the ending. Um, <laughs> it's very true, man is its own worst enemy. Not the little green spaceman, or grey, or whatever crypto is. Uh, apart from all the anal probing, that's pretty bad of them. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That was the game, and I usually like to wrap up the Let's Play and give a little review on what I thought of the game. And it's kind of difficult this time because, you know, uh, this game isn't new to me. Um, played this game many times and, and Let's Played it before on this channel as well. But uh, as far as remakes go, and I know I'm really late in saying this because the game came out, you know, months ago now. But um, I think it was, it was pretty good. I think everything I have problems with with the game is mainly to do with the the game itself, the original game, uh, and not necessarily the remake. Like, I think they did a great job with the graphics, I think it looks really pretty. Um, I know there was a little bit of issues with the whole kind of like st the, the stylization they have of the, um, is that even a word? Stylization? I think I might have just made that up. Um, you know, the way they remodeled the humans in the game and made them very cartoony. And I think I, I still am not a massive, massive fan of that. I still prefer the way they looked in the original game, but it's not enough to sort of like ruin the whole experience for me. It's it's fine. It's it's not a really a, a big deal. Uh, but everything else, you know, like the gameplay and um, the extra upgrades they added to you know the weapons and the saucer, uh, the you know the, the dashing. Even though I didn't really use it that much and. Like, uh, the stuff like returning the projectiles back to them like we just used against Robo Prez. All that stuff was really, really fun. And um, oh, and also the one where, you know, you spread the brain extraction and that, that turns enemies against each other. Really, really fun stuff. I really liked all that, those additions to the game. Um, and also the optional objectives and the fact they, they added a whole new lost level was pretty neat. The optional objectives were kind of good though because it just gave you that little bit extra to do in the missions. Um, but I will say, I think, yeah, like I said before, the main issue I have with this game is that I just, I'm not a big fan of the actual story itself. Um, I always kind of feel like 
with these missions and these levels, it's always kind of random. It's like, okay, now do this, now do this. You know, Pox says something at the beginning of each mission, but I don't really think they flow together very well. Whereas if you compare that to the second game, which is my favorite, I much prefer Destroy Humans 2. I think there's a lot more of a, a like a solid plot in that game and every mission makes more sense as to why you're doing it. There's a lot more um, story set up for why you are going to Takashima and doing this and that or why you're then going to Tunguska and doing this and that. Whereas this one, it's just a bit more haphazard. Okay, now do the aerials and now go meet Burt Withers. I don't know. That bit I don't really like. Um, and I, I just think the second game improved everything pretty much. You know, the locations, the weapons, the gameplay, the... Uh, I mean, the humour and the writing was pretty much the same, but yeah. Um, so uh, that, if they ever do get around to remastering the second game, and, you know, I've heard that this did pretty well for them. It, it kind of met expectations or perhaps even exceeded expectations in terms of sales. I'm pretty confident that they would do a, a Destroy Humans 2 remaster. I mean, they've got a lot of the assets there already. Like, they've got the, the core gameplay. It's just a case of the storyline and the locations, really. Um, I would be very, very eager for that because, yeah, I think the second is just so much better in pretty much every way. Uh, but I'm glad that this is... I mean, I, I can't really complain too much because it's kind of still amazing that Destroy Humans, of all franchises, of all series, video game series that have died in the past or being forgotten about, this somehow came back. Like, what are the chances, really? It wasn't really a massive game when it came out, to be honest, and, and yet here we are. We're playing it in 2020 and 2021. That's kind of amazing in itself, and so, you know, kudos to uh, THQ Nordic and Black Forest Games for bringing this game back from the dead and maybe giving it a bit more of a future. I mean, if this, if this is it and this is the only thing we get, then I... That's fine too, um, but it would be nice to see it continue. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to see what stuff has been unlocked in terms of extras, and I might make a little bonus video for the extras. Um, but for now, that is going to do it. So thank you all very much for watching this Let's Play. I'm sorry that there was such big gaps between episodes, and it's taken me so long to finally complete it, but I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I did try and play it blind, this remaster, so I'm sorry if I didn't quite catch everything or wasn't really the best at the missions, but I tried. I tried my best, and uh, yeah, thanks for sticking along. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!